Question number 20 is about a spring and Hooke's law. They give you the mass of an object that is hanging on the string. So if you remember your lab, you had that. A certain light spring, when they say light, they imply that the own weight of the spring doesn't stretch it because of that weight that was put on it, and only because of that, stretches by 2.76 centimeters. That is your x. And remember, x is supposed to be in meters. What is the force constant of the spring? So this textbook calls it the force constant. We in the lab called it spring constant, all right? The actual Hooke's law has a minus in it. Minus, remember, is directional because the stretch and the force of the spring are in the opposite direction. You stretch it to the right, the force is to the left, and so on and so forth. I'm, I'm looking just for K, so I'm not going to be looking at that direction. So force of spring will be equal to mg in this case because when we hang something on the spring, that spring is going to be stretching until it stretches so much that the force, its own force, which is equal to in magnitude kx, will be equal to mg. So therefore, I'm going to say mg divided by x is going to be my k. So then I do my 2.5 times um, 9.8 and over 2.76 10 to the second goes up here. That is my spring constant for that spring. In B, they're asking us to find x in B. Well, I'm just going to look at my force of spring still equal to mg and kx. Again, I'm just dropping minus because I know it's directional. So it's going to be 1.25 times 9.8 over k, which is 888 newtons per meter. Before I plug this into the calculator, what I notice is the the mass is half of what it was before. Well, if the mass was half of what it was before, the force of gravity is half of what it was before. Therefore, force of spring is going to be half of what it was before. Without doing this, I could also just say, well, x is going to be one half of x in A, and it's just going to be 1.38 centimeters. Meant to verify, I'm going to do looking at that, huh? All right, so sometimes if you analyze the given data, it gives you a shortcut. So how much work must an external agent do to stretch the same spring eight centimeters from its unstretched position? So this brings us to elastic energy equal kx squared over two, and that would be equal to the external work done on the spring by stretching it. So what we're gonna look at is eight, 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 as our k, 8 times 10 to the negative second in squares over 2. So it's 444 times 0 0.0064. That is going to be 2.84 joules. And those are the answers to number 20.